With Bolt.new, literally anyone, no matter how little programming experience you have, can build your own full-scale enterprise applications. Not only can you build it easily, you can put it on the web, sell it, have other people use it, and create an entire business out of it. What I'm going to show you now is how Bolt.new works, why you need to be using it immediately, and then we're going to actually build our own movie recommendation AI app and put it on the web so anyone can use it. Let's get into it. What you see here is Bolt.new. This is a brand new product from StackBlitz, and it is really, really incredible, really user-friendly. There's a free version, so you can just use it right off the rip. No need to sign up. And what it does is allow you to build apps with AI prompts, no coding at all. So really anyone can jump into it. And I know a lot of people that have taken this, launched businesses and made a lot of money just off building apps off Bolt.new. So what you see here is really simple. AI prompt window, we can go in here and tell it to build us any app we want. The biggest problem I've had recently in my life is I have five different streaming apps and I have no idea what movie I wanna watch. I wanna build an AI app where I can enter in my mood and then it comes back and tells me exactly what movie I should be watching at that moment and gives me reviews and tells me and shows me the movie poster and gives me a description. Let's build that out. I'll show you how you don't even need to write a single line of code. So here's the prompt I'm gonna use. Let's make a movie recommendation app. You enter in the mood you're in and the app gives you a movie recommendation, the description, reviews, and the movie poster. Really simple, really simple prompt. Let's hit enter, let's see what we get. So the way Bolt.new works is the AI builds out everything for you. And the difference here between Bolt.new and Cursor is it actually takes away a lot of the little tiny technical work you had to do with Cursor. So like for instance here, what it's doing is it's installing all the dependencies. In Cursor, while it did write the code for you, you still had to do a little bit of technical work by installing dependencies and figuring out which technology you needed to use. You don't need to do any of that decision making with Bolt.new. It actually does that for you, installs everything for you, so all you need to do is stick to prompting. The advantage to that is, is now anyone can build apps. Even if you have no idea how technology works, no idea how the internet works, no idea how programming works, you can go in and start building apps. And so what you see here is, as I was talking, it was building out an entire application right? What did it do? It installed all the dependencies, all the technology I need. It wrote all the code. So if I go over here to code, you can see all the code and all the files it wrote. I didn't have to write a single line of code. And then it made it look beautiful. So let's see what it did. I've created a beautiful movie recommendation app with the following features. A stunning gradient background with a modern cinematic feel. That is a stunning gradient background. I agree, Bolt. A, sl a sleek mood selector with a glass morphism effect. I don't know what glass morphism effect is, but I like it. Beautiful high move, beautiful movie cards. Okay, so here's what I'm about to do. I'm about to test out this app, but what I'm going to show you to, but what I'm going to show you after that is what makes Bolt.new so powerful is the fact that we can go back and forth, have a conversation with the AI, and work hands in hands with the AI to build out really cool application. So let's first test this out, then let's build out new features and talk with the AI to figure out a really cool application. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to put that on the web. So I'll show you how to host this so that you can create a link, send it to your friends. If you wanna start selling it and turn it into a business, you can do that as well. I'll take you through that all after this. So let's see what it has so far. So far it looks like it has a bunch of pre-selected movies and pre-selected moods, and a bunch of pre-selected stuff. I wanna make this more dynamic, so let's first test this out. Let's say we're in a thrilling mood, finding us the perfect movie. Okay, so it, it did an Inception, kinda has a basic review, but I want this to be a little bit more dynamic. So let's work with the AI and make it so it takes real data from the web and not a bunch of pre-selected movies and do something cool here. All right, so I actually, I just thought of a new idea to make this a lot better. What if we did this? What if we had this powered completely by AI so that when we enter in a mood, it goes to like chat GPT and builds out a full recommendation for us and tells us why, tells us why it's recommending that movie. So let's work with the AI on the left. Let's chat with it and let's talk about how we can implement the new functionality. This is good for you to pay attention to because this shows you how you can use bolt.new to improve functionality as you go. So let's go in here. Can we have this powered by AI instead? Maybe it talks to the chat GPT AI to get us movie recommendations, send. As this is building, if you've learned anything up to this point, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications and leave me a like. Also let me know in the replies what you want me to build next. I'll modify the app to use the OpenAI API for movie recommendations. We'll need to add the OpenAI API key to update the services. Okay, what I'll do is 
I'll show you in a second how to get your OpenAI API key if you want to build this along with me. What's cool here is, look, Bolt.new is installing all the new technologies, all the new dependencies. We didn't have to do any work here ourselves. We didn't have to learn tech or understand what's going on. The AI just builds it all out for us. While it's doing this, let's actually get our OpenAI API key so we can prepare for the functionality it's building out. So go to platform.openai.com and log in. Then click Dashboard up here. And then over on the left-hand side, go to API Keys. Once you do that, you just click Create New Secret Key up here in the top right. Give it a name. So we'll go Bolt Demo. Create the secret key. And then you can copy your API key from here. So we'll go back into bold.new, get an OpenAI API key, one step ahead of you, bud. And then add it to the .env file. Okay, so we just go into code. We look for the .env file. And then we put in the API key right here. Once you paste that in, hit save. I do command S. All right, so it uses AI to generate personalized movie recommendations. All right, let's see how we're doing. I'm feeling very excited right now. I think I want a thriller. Enter. Let's see how this goes. Okay, AI is finding you the perfect movie. Let's see what we got here. Gone Girl. On their fifth wedding anniversary, Nick Dunn reports as, oh, I saw this movie. That is what it's about. This is the real description. AI recommendation, and it gives a review. That is sick. Gives you the year, gives you the average score. This is sick. Let's give it another test. I'm feeling very sad. The Celtics just lost. Let's see what the AI gives me now. Is it going to match my mood? Eternal Sunshine and the Spotless Mind. I saw that as well. That is an incredibly sad movie. This is pretty good, right? We just built a solution. I had a problem, right? I have 20 streaming services and I don't know what to watch. It built me a solution. Now we got one more thing we want to do here. Before we go, one last thing we want to do, and that's we want to put this on the web, right? It's the number one question I get when I'm building these apps as, hey, how do I put this live? How do I get it so my friends can use it? How do I turn this into a business? That's what's also great about bold.new is the fact that you can actually go in here and very simply put it on the web so you have a link. So let's do this. Follow along. We go back into the AI chat. I love this app. Can we host this on the web, please? I always say please when the AI apocalypse comes. I don't want the AI to destroy me, so I, I say please at the end. Make sure to always have good manners with your AI. I hit enter. Watch this. It's as simple as that. I'll help you deploy this app to Netify. First, let's remove the API key from the code and then deploy it. So now it's preparing it to put this on the web. This is excellent. It's changing whatever code we need to put it live on the internet, and it is putting us live. Okay, let's see what we got. Let me check the deployment status. Great, your app is now live. Boom. That is a live link. I just clicked the link, and it's live on the internet. I can now take this link and give it to any of my friends I want, and they can go now use this app. If I wanted to, I can go in here, click this link, and it actually claims the app for myself on Netify. For those who don't know, for those who don't know Netlify, is a web app that hosts your code for you. So I can click here, bring it into my account, and then give it my own custom domain. If I wanna buy aimoviemood.com, I can do that, put it on here. And within a couple of minutes, I'm live on the web. You can now, I can now take this link, give it to my friends, have other people test it out. And if I want, start selling it, right? Maybe I put a Stripe link in there and start selling the functionality. And now I have my own business that I built in a few minutes just off bolt.new. If you have no programming experience at all, you need to be testing out Bolt.new. This is by far the quickest, fastest way on the internet right now on this date to build your own apps, to start your own business, to start generating your own income. The economy is changing. People need to have your own side hustle now. With inflation getting out of control, you need to be building side hustles and side revenue. This is how you do it. Check out Bolt.new, start building your own app for free, get it on the web, and you are 99% the way they are building your own business. If you learned anything new, make sure it's subscribe button, turn on notifications, leave a like, and then let me know in the reply section what you want me to build next. All my videos are based on user feedback. See you in the next video.